Now, in the previous part of the series of the full body the fear shooter controller we had set up the blend trees with the idle and the booleans but of course it just runs in the idle because there's nothing that changes the boolean or get the transitions so to get the transitions done you will have to get a reference to our animator in our player controller cs script animation that's my private animator and we can call it our player animator player animator equals well we could say get component in children but i think it's a better idea to just keep it as a serialized field so that we don't you know make it do the hard work of getting it in the children so your life field of type private okay header and let's say animator animator after we've called it our animator inside the unity editor Select the player game object, like the player game object, and attach an animator component in the slot. So we have player model with the animator, just drag it into the animator slot. The animator is now set. We can even save our project if we want to. Save, command S or control S, and save the project. Next, we will start by defining a function. Before we do that, let's just delete the start function because we're not using it yet. So just delete it. Underneath the handle input and move, we'll make a private void. Private void. And this will be handle animation. Okay, animations. And then with the brackets, you can go down. And let's just short form it to handle anim. So handle anim. Now let's just go up in the update function and call this one as well. So handle anim and it's also called in the update. Alright, so let's just start. So first we need our vector2 input vector, just like we did in the last two functions. So vector2 input vector equals input dot player dot move dot read value of type vector2. And that's it. After that, we will write an if. Um, let me just add a comment first above this thing. So above here, right? Get the input. Make the G small. And now let's begin our logic. So we'll start off by writing if. Is sprinting is true? As you don't need to write that, but is sprinting is enough for it to detect if it's true? Player animator dot set bool. This is a short form. If you just want to write one line of code for an if, so if is a sprinting, just close the bracket and write player animator dot set bool. And we will do is a sprinting. You better be e exact name. So if you don't do the exact name, it will not actually. It won't even give you an error, it will give you a warning though that doesn't exist. So anyway, is sprinting is true and otherwise we should do else is sprinting is false. So it's false. If is walking is true, we do play animated dot set bool and we will set the boolean this time of the is walking is walking comma true and else we will just set the player animator dot set bool and is walking is false then we'll write if is grouching we do player animator 
Dot said Boo is crouching this time. He just wrote the exact name again. Crouching is true. Underneath that we can write else if sorry no we don't need an if just else player animator dot said bow is crouching is crouching false yeah so that's really the code for setting the booleans now we we'll set the floats inside our animator because to really get the velocity z and velocity y working we need to set the float so set float we'll start by setting the float of the velocity z and we'll give it input vector dot x so input oh let's just write player animator dot set float this will be our velocity y as we defined inside the animator window comma it's gonna be um now we can say input vector dot x and the y velocity is gonna be depending on the input vector dot y so basically input vector dot x is the one that we do left and right using your mouse and that's the reason why we did this so velocity z is actually changing it inside the blend tree as the forward movement and that's why he did that so hit play and you can see now if I press my arrow keys I can control it is pretty snappy though and you can fix we'll fix that in the next video but it's too snappy and look at this problem so if I am moving diagonally with my W and a or W and D is selected then it does this funny action because basically we digitally normalize everything so let's just stop doing that just say digital and change it again to digital and let's hit save asset if we now close the window and hit play we'll see that this problem is fixed because now velocity Z and velocity X are going velocity y and velocity z and velocity y are basically going to one one and we are doing diagonal movement so you can now see it's going really nice in the fps view as well it's pretty snappy you'll fix that later on but there is this small problem which we can fix in this video if you look underneath the character his feet are currently like above the ground some reason if we increase the height doesn't help decrease it maybe 0.067 well actually we should just put the player model at a minus value so I think if you look at this what's this thing there's something funny here the player itself is grounded and why is that not that's not good our height is 2 it's accurately fitting a capsule for some reason not fitting this character then offset of 1 keep it 1 just you know it's touching the ground we will just fix the visual later on but we just fix it right now you can see that it doesn't help at all it still goes back up so let's just change this guy oh no let's see what happened by applying the root motion but of course the pivot can go bad because of this thing we'll just stop the game and just start the game before we do let's just select the player But all the while you set correctly, right? Our player is grounded, so it means the hips are going incorrectly. Of course, the animations are made by them, so we can't touch it. If we touch it, we might make some mistakes. So, what I'm going to do is decrease 
I'm gonna put this at a minus value on the Y to get it down because now if you look inside the hips sorry there are these funny red circles I don't know what they are it could be signs of the animation maybe I don't know but if you look inside the player model and the mixamo rig hips it's currently at 105 let's just put this at a minus value minus 0.1 that's going through the ground and the minus 0 0.5 6 still not touching the ground 7 8 8 is the best i think I just keep it as minus 0 0.08 it's walking touching the ground so it's all okay and fine looks pretty good if, even if you hit shift just click on shift, it goes into shift mode, running, running, running everywhere. I can jump, run, jump, run anywhere. And that's it. But you can of course see the movement is really snappy. We'll fix that in the next tutorial of, of the next part of this series of the full body controller.